Okay viewers, I defeat Nova, not this for the true end. So this is what's gonna happen, true end. Huh? What are you doing here? I'm proud of you, Gumball. You too, Julie. We don't go out of the way. I think we already read that, so we're gonna just gonna skip that all the way. We already read all that, so we're gonna skip that. I did it a little fast, but I'm happy with that. Gunball, it's a true end. How did I des describe what happened next? Asimov had shot Gunball, then me. I should have been dead. But I felt more alive than ever. An ocean of electrons and sound washed over me. I was one with everything. It wasn't until later that I understood what happened to me. My body. The muse was an extension of my septima energy. Asimo hadn't bothered to use copper suppressor on me. So when he shot me, my septima did the logical thing. It escaped. Gunbolt, where are you? My mind and lumens had become one, and I searched for the gun bolt. I realized just how powerful my muse really was. The whole world was a sea of electrons and sounds, unclouded by human touch. There, he's still alive, but only barely, a slender thread held him to, his, to this world. How did he survive? that gunshot, I swam closer, deeper, I ran invisible figure over his body and found the wound. The grotesque mess of metal I had clawed into his skin. Wait, this is... Wrapped around the bullet like a tiny glove. It was a broken pendant. It, it was from the necklace I had made for him. He had chosen my gift over his quill issue gear, even though it gave him no tactical advantage, and it has saved his life. In that moment, I realized this boy who had come to save me, me was just as uh, fragile as I, I was. He didn't fight for me because I needed him. He, it was him who needed me I have to hurry he was still he was still dying the pendant had stopped the bullet from reaching his heart but without treatment his wound bleed to, to death he's there's a way my sentinel had been cut loose without a body I would die too there was only one place left for me to go and I want to be there I wrapped my internal arms around him and waited for him to respond. I'm a part of you now and you can be a part of me. A moment later, I, I was floating into his bio current and he saw each other for the la first time. We made it, Gunbolt. We're at the top of the world. And now it's my turn to be your compass. Azure. So this is a true end. I'm alive? But how? Oh my god.
No, Julie! Don't cry. A voice echoes through my head. Lumen? No! It sounded like Lumen at first, but this was... Julie, where are you? Close. I'll never be apart from you again. Her memories poured into me, and I really saw her for the first time. My whole body surged with Septima power. More than I ever known. What had she done to save me? In my arms, her body grew light. And then it was it wasn't there at all. I'll always be with you. I'll keep I'll be right here to keep you safe. Julie, please! But the voice in my head cut me off with a whisper. Dry your tears, Gunvolk. Dry your eyes, Gunvolk. Think about what you need to do. Asimov. He was going to kill a lot of people. I had to stop him. Too many people had gotten hurt already. Are you ready? Then let me add him your gu add him guide you. The true ending is about to start. Ow! No damage. Oh, you again. We meet again, Gunvolt. Back from the dead. Carrera, you're a little late for, to the party. For so that could only prolong my vengeance for so long. How I have longer to engage the another vicious round of Fisikov. And yet though two art change like a demon, two stand this before me. That calamity of Septima power that courses now through whom you more. Hey, yeah, verily, I shall enjoy this. Victory like all things will be mine. You know your words are real still mixed up until the end, huh? Come on. Oh man, this will never run out. Ow! Oh, that one damaged me. Ouch! The explosion hit me. Run, 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 That's done. Gotta get back on top. I made it. Why am I wasting my time with you? You're still alive! New trick! I can't let you do this, Asimov. We won't let you. Oh, so that's what happened to her. What a waste, Gunvolt. You were supposed to lead us in the new era with power like that. Well, maybe you should have asked me first. I took the wrong turn with, with you somewhere. I'm sorry for that. But you made the positive position clear oh sorry i didn't mean to skip that 
and you're on the other other you see you're not the only other striker you just the strongest until now that's Coppin's gun he's using Coppin's gun I think this is the hardest part of the game. Ooh, I'm at the dark zone. That's not it. That's the main problem. I can't do my electricity. Ouch. was to be expected but it's not too late to become a leader guide us in the days to come you're gacking things you're paid for what you did to Julie and and my work is done you really are stubborn aren't you but you can't stop Adep rising up whenever you fight for us or against us as long as you wield that kind of power, you have to fight for something. I don't hate you, Gunvolt. I just wish I'd done better by you. Uh, the future is in your... Meanwhile, at the bottom of the Babel, Zeno and Monica were waiting for their comrades to return. They could hear the hums of the elevator approaching. Then the door opened. Jeeves, you're... What? Oh my god, no! Asimov, boss! Man! Is he dead? Monica looked to Gunvolt for a denial. Some sign thing would be okay, but Gunvolt said nothing. His eyes were as cold as Asimov's. No, no, he can't. Asimov. Tears streamed down her cheek as she crumbled to the floor. Without another look, Gunvolt started to move towards the door. Hey, Jeeves, where? What Gibbs? Where's Julie? You think you can walk out here without telling us what the gag is going on? Don't touch him. What? Huh? An invisible force knocked Zeno's hand away. The battle had left Gunvolt's wounded heart broken, alone. His aged Julie was the only strong part of him left. As the night drew to a close, the last Azure Striker was quiet and unbearable as a desert. Zeno watched him go. Again, Gunvolt Mew spoke to him. We can go anywhere, you know. It's just us now. All I want.
Zeno strained to hear what he said, but Gunbolt was out of earshot. Helplessly, to stood there as his friend vanished into the distance. All Gunbolt wanted was freedom. And was swallowed by the uncertain light of the rising sun. That's a true end. Wow! I didn't lose! I was so lucky I won!
never seen this before. Remember that book. I always bring a breath away. about it oh uh, hmm. okay so that's the end of Gunvolt 1 I suggest you try the game out for yourself it's a good game it's so good I love it and but I know there's a Gunvolt 2 I'll be also be doing that, but my friend hasn't given me the USB yet that he has a copy of the game. He's not showing up yet. He has a copy of the game. I, I asked for a copy. He's not here yet. So I'm just gonna be you can vote too once he has arrived and and that's all. Just put a subscribe, subscribe to this video and a like, and I'll stop it here because that's the very end of the gun vault. I should just try it for yourself. It's so good. So shall we wait, we'll stop the game and go proceed to Gunvolt 2 next part next time. See you guys!